This ledge is actually big enough that we can walk on. We don't need to use the grip grab to get across. There's a lot of quicksand in here that looks like gray and yellow. If you step in, you'll get bitten by one of the the weird <laughs> the weird green toothy monsters that we saw in the Mayan Temple. I can't remember what it's called. All right, if we go this way, there's a big dinosaur switch here. Unfortunately, we can't press it. Also, a Jinjo behind a gate. Why are all these Jinjos locked in jail? This doesn't seem right. Ooh. Wombus Wigwam is over this way. Get that warp pad. That'll be a very useful one. There's also a mumble pad right near Wombus Wigwam. That's interesting. Oh boy, Sprinty Step Shoes. We can show these off. So you can just kind of hop around with it, but if you press A, we get a massive jump, even bigger than what a shock jump disc can give us. And similar to the shock jump disc, just Kazooie using the springy step shoes can jump a lot higher than J Banjo and Kazooie using them. We don't actually need the springy step shoes to get up there, but I'm going to use it anyways. And that's a slope. Remember, there's always going to be a Globo near a Wumpa Wigwam or a Mumbo Skull. The one exception being Wumpa's Wigwam in the Isle of Hags, because that needs the Mega Globo. So now we're actually decently high up on a mountain over somewhere. And as always, the music in this world is a bop. So there's a tiny hole here. This is where the clockwork eggs are going to come in handy. We can fire the little remote controlled Kazooie and walk through this hole. Takes us here. And here's one of those Rock Nut Tribe members. That didn't do anything, but you also saw that they pride themselves on their armor, but their backside is not protected. The armor is only one directional. <laughs> so what we can do is we can walk up behind them with a clockwork egg and press B. Okay. Ah! Not fair, found gap in armor. Others not so easy, stoop four of us left. Gah! Alright. Well, that that was exciting. <laughs> yeah, so to defeat the Rocknut tribe members, we're gonna have to use clockwork eggs. One of the many uses of clockwork eggs. There's the trouble cleft of the level. Always nice to have that. Yeah, if we step in the quicksand here. We'll see that green guy munched us real good. These pterodactyls can be a bit of a pain, similar to the pterodactyls in the Hilo Hags. But a single Rattatat Rap can finish him off. Now here's an interesting thing. We've got the Turbo Trainers in this cave, and then the Waiting Step Boots. I think this is... I think other than the Prison Compound, this is the only place where the Waiting Step Boots actually appear in this game. But we can use it to walk across the quicksand. Let's get that warp pad, and I hear a global. <laughs> a globo. Alright. Uh, we're not gonna use Mumbo's Skull just yet. There's a couple of Mumbo pads here, and I'm not sure if we have access to all of them. And I'd like to only use Mumbo once, if that were possible. Alright, let's peck these Snapdragons on the way on this little ledge. 
that leads us to this little uh, alcove here with a boulder. I believe this is a Cheeto page? Sure enough. Now let's grab the turbo trainers. And with the turbo trainers, we can jump up here and get another hollow honeycomb piece. Anyhow, there's this nice little like water hole, water hole over here. It's fun to mess around in. Hey, it's a Kazooie switch. <laughs> if those are underwater, that means one thing: Talon torpedo. Blam. Blam. That was weird. Okay, hit detection on that was strange. That'll open that underwater gate. Man, all of the Jinjos are in jail. But putting that Jinjo in jail underwater so he'll slowly drown, that's just cruel. We gotta save him. Alright, only one more green Jinjo left in the game. That's sad, because green's my favorite color. But at least we're one Jinjo closer to getting a Jiggy. The notes on this course are pretty spread out. It's pretty easy to accidentally miss a bundle of them. Anyhow, at this point, I think we've done a loop of the base of the level. There's, as you can see, yeah, there's kind of a lot here. Although one place we never went in was this cave up here. A lot of these caves look the same, but they all take you to different places. So this one takes us inside the mountain. Now we're behind a gate, but inside the mountain, as you can see, it's pretty spacious. A lot of water. There's an interesting little pedestal in the middle there. Now this takes us up on a bridge up here, and hey, it's another member of the Rocknut tribe. We're gonna shoot a clockwork bomb over him. How would the Rocknut tribe members work is that they'll always be facing Banjo and Kazooie where they are directionally, which means... Well, it means face him with Banjo and Kazooie so he'll face away, then shoot a clockwork egg around him, and then... Duh! I'll go shape of the pair, but still three of us left. Yeah, Rocknuts tribe. They're kind of butts, and not just because they don't clove themselves behind. So, we, we gotta take them out. Remember how I said even the heroes are kind of morally ambiguous? Yeah, I wasn't joking. Let's try to keep up our supply of clockwork eggs. It's easy to run out of those. Now, if you'll notice behind this waterfall, there's a vine. Easy to miss, but you definitely want to go up here because there's something very useful at the top of here. Specifically, it'll take us to a new part of the level. It's the River Passage. That takes us all the way up here. First thing you want to do is look back, and hey, there's the final hollow honeycomb piece of the level. We already are at the free. <laughs> Just Talon Trot up here, bada beam, bada boom. Try not to fall down again, otherwise it's a long climb back up. Instead, we're gonna swim in this water here. It's a dark and murky cavern, but eventually it'll take us somewhere. See the glow of the electric eels up here. First thing we're gonna do is swim underwater in this little underwater lake here. The reason for that is there are some very well hidden note bundles underwater. If you're missing some notes on this level, check here. They're probably hiding here. There's 20 of them. Actually, there might be more. No, I think, I think it's just 20. Yeah, it's just 20. So hey, there's a gem jar silo over there. Here. Ooh, an information sign post. Let's read that. It's egg sighted in the Ugo and Unga caves. Okay. Did you just...
do that to tell me the pun? If so, I approve. Now what we're gonna do... Use this ledge, climb all the way across. Now for this we're gonna press Z to let go, but then grab onto this ledge. And kill the Snapdragon over here. And that leads us on a long-winded journey to another Jam Jar silo. Forget it, punk! You won't be needing that flea bag with you to learn this one! Why, you cheeky! Yeah, this move is for Banjo only, and this is an incredibly annoying move to reach with just Banjo, and the reason is because of those freaking Snapdragons. If you're just Banjo, you can climb on the ledge, but you can't attack the Snapdragons. So, unless I'm mistaken, I believe you have two different options. One, you can kill both of the Snapdragons, as Banjo and Kazooie, really quickly, and as soon as you do that, immediately go to the split-up pads and rush over there at max speed before the Snapdragons can respawn, and the other way is to just very carefully try to avoid the Snapdragons, and that's the way I'm gonna try to go. Up. And that did not turn out well. Actually, I'm gonna try something. I'm not sure if I've ever tried this, but can you kill the Snapdragons with eggs from a distance? You can! I just killed that one with a grenade egg. We'll use the Amazo Gaze glasses and... Okay! That's gonna make it a little bit easier. We're still gonna have to hurry. But at least now we won't have to very, very carefully avoid the Snapdragons, because that is not fun. Thankfully, the Snapdragons stayed dead for- Oh my gosh, they respawned actually really quickly! Never mind! That's the way to do it. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. Alright, all of that for this move, but it's a useful one. It's Taxi Pack. No, Kazooie means space in your pack. A way to fill it is what you lack. Pick large things up off the ground. In they go and carry them round. That'll be all. Dismissed. Yeah, he doesn't actually tell you how to use this move. What you do is if you hold Z and press left C, Banjo will take off his pack and kind of walk around and then you can press B and sweep things up. And there are a lot of things you can actually pick up in your pack and you can take them other places. This is a move that has a lot of utility, and we will be needing it quite a bit throughout this game. And it's one of the trickiest moves to learn. Getting it past those Snapdragons with just Banjo is honestly kind of difficult. Even with the Grenade Egg strategy, which I did not realize you could do, I still barely made it. Alright, now I have to remember- okay. I was- I'm fighting against the current. So, that's the way I came. I gotta keep going this way. Because again, the current takes you towards the water. Actually, wait. In our... Is the current going to come in both directions? Nope. Oh, does this take us back to the pool of water where we killed that other Rocknut tribe member? I actually think that's where. Yep. Nifty. Yeah, there's a lot to explore on this level. We haven't we haven't even really tackled climbing the mountain yet, but boy is that a doozy. Anyhow, I think now we can pay Humba Wumba a visit. We've got actually we have three globos, two from Pterodactyland and one from Iowa Hags. You have Globo. Want to give to Humba? Yes. Sure, I'll just throw it in. Magic ready, jump in Wumba Pool. Transformation for this course is actually pretty cool. We a dinosaur! Wumba call this Baby T-Rex. Use control stick to move. Rawr! We're a T-Rex! Fear us! <laughs> I mean, we're a baby T-Rex, so maybe we're more cute than ferocious, but... Nah. <laughs> Hello, fellow dinosaur! I am also dinosaur! Roar! <laughs> Wow, a new dinosaur! What are you? 
A vicious T-Rex! You're not that vicious. You don't even know how to roar properly, do you? You literally just said the word roar. Uh, no, I don't think we do. It's easy. Just tap B for a short roar and hold B for a long one. Thanks. Let's go roar at someone! It's nice of the, the dinosaur to be our friend. Uh, how do I do those different roars again? Simple. Just tap B for a short roar and hold B for a long one. Thanks. We're a T-Rex. Can we push this? No, you're too small. Dog on it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm with Kazooie. If I were a dinosaur, like, the first thing I would do is like, Hey, go and roar at someone. <laughs> Gotta take advantage of it, right? Oh my gosh, we're so adorable. And hey, there's a little stone here with a T-Rex symbol on it. If you roar, it'll open up for you, because magic. What's going on in here? Ooh. Get ourselves another Cheeto page. Nice. There's also a sign here. Roar! 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 Then the glittering prize will be yours! Okay, that sounds really weird, but remember the pattern of that. Because that actually is leading you to a code that you're gonna need for one of the jiggies. Oh hey, we're back at Wumpas. How convenient. We never actually started going up this way. Path to nest up there. Well, we can't jump up there, but thankfully, as a T-Rex, we get a shortcut. Because T-Rexes command a lot of respect around these neighborhoods. So that just is a shortcut to take us higher up the mountain. I believe right down there is where we entered in. Alright, let's see what's in this cave. I like caves. Caves are pretty cool. 